Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we talked about how to install Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model using a Llama. If you missed that, you can check it out by clicking the link that's popping up next to me right now. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to fine tune Llama 3.1. The fine tuning process works on the 8 billion, 70 billion, and 405 billion parameter models, but for resource reasons, we're just going to be using the 8 billion parameter model today. I'll walk you through the fine tuning process step by step and show you how you can fine tune this model for free. All resources and guides will be in the description below including a Google Collab notebook to help you fine tune the model yourself. So today we're gonna fine tune on function calling. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, so we're gonna be using Unsloth for this. So all you have to do is just connect to the T4 GPU. And then once that's connected, we'll be able to install. Looks like we're connected. And then once this is installed, then we can download the model. So we're gonna be using the 8 billion parameter model, but we're gonna be using the instruct version. Okay. So now since that's installed, all we have to do is download the model now and just click play on that. Download, it'll run that cell. And then this is the data set that we're using. So you can see it on Hugging Face as well. So you can see the function calls in there. You can see the responses to the function calls. And when sometimes it has a function call, sometimes it doesn't, depending on what the user is asking. So when we run that, we're going to be downloading the data set now. Okay, so now we can start the fine tuning process. So we just need to run the trainer. And it's going to map the data set through. Okay, so now to start it and start training, all we have to do is run this right here. And in real time, it's going to tell us what's going on. So it shows you the number of examples that they have, the batch size, the total steps, and the trainable parameters. Okay, we can see it's running. So it seems like it's gonna take about 16 minutes or so, which is not too bad. So when that's done, we'll come back and we'll start inferencing with the model. Okay, so we can see the training is finished. So it goes down and it starts to come back up a little bit. So I pasted it in Claude and told it to create a dashboard for me so I can visualize it. So we can see it just a little bit better. So it gave us potential optimizations as well. And it showed us a graph. So we can see how it comes down to the point or to 21 and then starts going back up here in this range. So past 0.5. Okay, so now we're gonna ask it to get the news in Argentina for us. So we're gonna feed it the get news function and it gets the latest news. And then the only parameter that we need back is the country. And this is what we're expecting the output to be. And then we're gonna feed it the news from the tool after, and then we're gonna expect it to give us kind of like a summary from that. Okay, cool. So it gave us the tool output just like we expected. And now let's run this. So now it should give us a summary of what's going on. It may take a second just because of it's a little bit more context that we're feeding into the model now. Okay, so we get a response back and over here you can see it. It says the current situation in Argentina is complex and challenging. The country is facing its worst economic crisis since 2001 with inflation soaring and poverty affecting a significant portion of the population. People are showing resilience and creativity to survive and many are turning informal work and innovative ways to earn a living. So as you can see, it did summarize uh, the information that was put in here. So it did work um, kind of like we were expecting. So obviously you can play around with this some more and fine tune it for whatever data source that you guys want to fine tune it on. And then down here, you can always upload it to Hugging Face. So that way you can use the model whenever you want LM Studio or wherever you guys want to pull it down to. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're able to fine tune the data on whatever you guys want. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.